Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and I'm quite excited about this video because it will show a trader who has traded a robot firstly and has had over 400 successful deals at 100% success. In other words, there were no negative deals. And the RSI indicator that you see on your screen gives you an idea of the accuracy of the trading technique this trader. Okay, about three months ago, I created this video that you see on your screen. It was an invitation to our clients for them to become champions of any one of our trading robots. And the deal was you get the robot for free. All you have to do is trade it and develop the settings that will be successful. And I'm pleased to say that what you're going to be seeing today is a product of that initiative. One of these traders took that initiative, we gave him the robot free, and he turned it into a 100% success robot. That was the whole idea. If you focus on one robot, you can create phenomenal success. So let's have a look at it a little bit closer. So in this video, you're going to learn how to trade at 100% success. I'm going to teach you. You will also see accounts that have been traded at 100% success. And they've been traded over a period of 12 weeks. So it's not just the last week or so. It's a 12-week period. And you are going to see how easy it is to achieve that level of success. All you need is patience. I'm also going to show you a way of letting your winners run. And that is what this trader has also done. And the greatest thing of it all, it is all totally automated. It is a trading robot. And then in the end, I'd like to ask you a few questions that I hope you'll answer truthfully. Now, this particular technique is quite unique. It can be traded using a, a, an account of $50. In fact, $30. That's how small the account can be that you can trade. And I'm not talking about cent accounts, real accounts with very low balances. It is 100% compatible with any broker in any region. So the US, the UK, Europe, Australia, all of those with limited leverage and all kinds of restrictions are not affected. There, is, there are no leverage problems, there are no hedging problems, there's no FIFO problems, there's no hanging on to losses problems. So here's the portfolio of the trader and I must say that Firstly, that there are 16 accounts in this portfolio. Not all of them were 100%. There are two or three accounts that have had a negative deal. So, so as you can see, the trade win percentage there is 96%. But 13 of these 16 accounts were 100% positive. And that's what I want to focus on. You can see the overall result, 25% thousand dollars positive and three dollars negative those are those three accounts that are still holding negative balances and this covers a history period of 118 days roughly about 15 weeks of trading so we've got a lot of trading you'll also see that the trader only used three currencies and we'll chat about that and the cumulative profit is nicely up all the way there there is most probably one of the loss uh, uh, accounts there but other than that and there is most probably a loss account there but other than that it's all nicely up, upward and here you can see a list of the accounts and they are all a nice positive balances and nice positive equity balances and there's been 426 trades made over the period and uh, there you can see the uh, net profit figure 13,000 pips generated and uh, a lot of lots used. Okay, so now let's have a look at the uh, some of the accounts. Now I'm not going to go through all of the accounts, but here are examples of the accounts. And here we have uh, the first account is 100% positive and it has a nice positive closed balance. And here's the thing, it has a positive floating balance. Now why is that floating balance so big? I'm going to explain to you why but so this is a, a perfect type of account that you want 
Then the second account, same thing. Uh, this one has a 100% success rate. It has a closed profit and a positive open trades. Again, dream, dream trading account. Then here, here we have one 100% success rate, nicely closed deals, no transactions open at the moment. And you'll see why this happens when a deal gets closed. You have to wait quite a while for that perfect entry that generates 100% success. And then the last example is a, the similar one, 100% success rate, um, nicely closed profits. And there is another one with a positive profit and loss. Really, really good trading accounts, the kind of trading accounts you want in your portfolio. Okay, now I'm going to explain the trading strategy. And if you understand the trading strategy, you will know which settings to use. It's as simple as that. So if you understand the strategy, you'll know the settings. Nobody's going to give you the settings. You have to understand the strategy the strategy and the settings will flow from your understanding of the strategy. Very important that you pay full attention about understanding how it works. So the RSI is a momentum indicator. So it measures the waves and what happens it goes from overbought to oversold regularly. And those dotted line that dotted line is the overbought line and that is the over sold line. So what happens, and this is the technique, and <laughs> pay attention to it, the RSI would, and look at my, the cursor there, would go overbought, and then come out of that over, overbought environment. And that is the time that you trade. You don't trade when it goes overbought, you trade when it's reversing. And that, that crossover, from, uh, the overbought line, is when the trade occurs. And as you can see, it, it, it has quite a bit of vol, uh, vol, uh, volatility when it crosses that line. It shoots through. There you can see it shoots through, shoots through, shoots through, shoots through. So that's got that punch that takes the, the price over the line. And that is, that, is the, that is the technique. So the technique is you wait for the RSI to go over, overbought you then enter when it comes back over the overbought line and that is when you enter. Okay, same with the, the, the buy, buy side. So again, it, it went oversold, went back, that's when you enter and you, you, you ride that volatility boost when it goes over. Same thing here, there it goes over, you enter when it, when it crosses over again and there's the big volatility boost there. Same thing here, same thing there. So that is how the techniques work. It is so simple, very, very, very simple. And here's the setting. The RSI is set for four periods. So that, and so now th there'll be a few questions. I'll say, how do I know how to, where to put my overbought and oversold lines? Now, about 20 years ago, I watched a movie made in Australia about a dish, a satellite dish that was used in the moon landing. So, so Australia had the duty of monitoring part of the moon landing because America didn't have a view of the moon at that particular point to, uh, to monitor it from Australia. So there's the dish and here's a bit of Australia and there's the moon landing and you can see the TV was pretty old in those days. So that's the story that was created. So what happened, and here's the, um, the promotional side of that, that, that movie, and Sam Neill acted in it as the sort of guide, uh, uh, the dish manager, as it were. And so there were a whole lot of scientists at the dish, and the dish was going and everything, and then they had a power failure. A power failure. Not it's not unusual in the Australian outback when there is a huge draw on power. All these high-powered technical people were completely blown away because what happened is all the settings for the for to calibrate the the dish were lost, and they sat back and said, "It's going to take us days to calculate all the settings that we need for this dish." So, 
what happened and uh, this was Sam Neill the the manager he said I don't know I can't see the problem there's the moon here's the dish just point the dish at the moon and we'll trace the activity and that's what they did they just manually pointed the dish at the moon and voila they were able to complete the monitoring of that side of the moon landing so why am I telling you this story because robot traders are notorious to ask for settings and if they don't get settings they do not know what to do so here's how you get your overbought and oversold settings and that's what how I got that chart that I just showed you let's go back to the chart so all you do is you look at the moon you look at the past history of the of the currency and you say oh this line will catch all the overbought the turning points so that is how you draw that line you don't calculate it you look at it you point it at the moon and you say what has happened in the past the same thing with this what what level should the sell level be oh you, you just look at the past and you say oh that level would have caught most of the turning points as simple as that so this is this is I I'm belaboring this point because forex traders especially robot traders are brainwashed into think thinking that settings are magical they not you just look at the charts and you'll see the settings so there so, so there's your answer to where the overbought and oversold ones are and you already got the answer when do I trade um, and let's talk about when do you exit so what this particular trader does he the trader does not go for big big runs what they do is they happy with a 10 to 20 pip run so there's for instance a, a run that that might be oh 100 pip run that that could easily especially this one th that could be a 100 pip run so what the trader does is that the trader has, has a mental target so the trader might say oh i want to uh, put a target in of let's say 30 30 pips i'm going to put a trading stop that that will be 10 pips behind the price when the price reaches 30. so in other words they're not going to cash in when it reaches 30 but the, what they have they have a stop behind it so that if the price comes back it will be stopped out at plus 20 still very happy with that result but if the price keeps on running on and on and on the trailing stop will just keep on following keep on following keep on following so that's how this trader squeezes out the extra amounts out of the trade 20 is still good but 50 or 60 or 70 is better and that's what you get when you use this kind of trading technique because of the volatility of the turnaround you can see you can see how volatile the turnarounds are they just shoot up so all right hopefully you understand the technique that's very important if you understand the technique the settings will just follow you'll just point your robot at the moon and that's all you need to do so every currency will have a different profile that's why you have to create those uh, overbought and oversold lines in relation to what you see on the charts every currency will have and that's why this is a visual trading technique not a technical one and trailing stops have been around most probably for 60 or 70 years they nothing new just apply a trailing stop and Bob's your auntie now as you know this technique has resulted in 100% success now the EA that this trader chose to use and the reason why he understood the dynamics of the RSI was the tradable RSI indicator so we've made the indicator tradable and uh, here's the page that you can go to a clickable link will be in the description of the video as well as in the commentary I'm not going to spend too much time on it but that that explains you can see uh, there's an explanation of that technique there are the settings I'll go through the settings in a little bit more detail um, and what's not what I like about and you can see the incredible returns that this EA is 
returning on a four hour and one hour basis and it's been applied to index trading even better forty two thousand dollars in one year unbelievable results really fantastic results and what's more you get a free course and here's here's a, a total free course video based course that you get from for from using the rsi a whole lot of videos and things like that and a few bonuses and uh, we once had a trial on it a free trial you could have done it with it. that's expired now but certainly you can purchase the rsi down at the bottom there okay so let's have a quick look at the rsi settings that you would use if you wanted to trade the 100 percent success formula so let's have a look so the RSI has a buy leg and a sell leg, and in general, we try and keep them the same. But it basically says, what, what period do you want your RSI to be? Well, I've told you a four is a good period. Then it says, what should your oversold level be for you to buy? So in other words, um, this one says 30. Uh, you need to, it will vary from currency to currency and, and, and time frame to time frame, but you have to tell it where those dotted lines need to be, the overbought and oversold lines. So um, I, I can tell you that this trader used, must probably 15, and I don't uh, know for sure, 15 or even 10. So in other words, the trader only got the really exceptional when it shoots over and comes back type of trade. Then it says, how do you want to use that line? Do you want to trade the upward crossover like that buy, or do you want to trade the downward crossover? So it's upward or downward. So downward would be the first time it crosses the the line coming down. As you see, that does that's not the right entry and. Uh, uh, Upward crossover is when it has gone past and is coming back. That's what we want. So we that that so that is the critical se it's critical setting for this technique. Then the rest doesn't really matter. You've sorted out your exit. There are a few exits you can do. The uh, one exit is you just set uh, the uh, exit to be the entry for the next trade. So if you've used 15 there, you use uh, 85 there. So, okay, now you understand the entry. So what, what are we going to do that for the exit? As I mentioned, you can use a target, you can use settings for that, or you could use a trailing stop. The other thing is that you would set your cell settings. In general, it's a good thing to do is to set, set the cell settings the same as the buy settings. So in other words, you just say, make my cell settings based on the buy settings. Now, it won't, they won't be identical. They'd be totally reversed, but they would be the same settings. So your cell set settings would be based on the settings used in the buy section. Okay, so that's that's pretty straightforward. It's a very complicated EA if you really go into it. What I like about this trader is gone for the simple approach. And then if you go right down here, you can you you can use uh, stop losses. There's a stop loss, or, or you can use a take profit, or you can use and let's stroll even further down. You can use a trailing stop. So if for instance we uh, input a trailing stop that I discussed earlier, so you would say, all right, start when the uh, when the deal has reached plus 30, um, trail by 10, so your trailing stop would be 10 behind, and then increase uh, and then increase the trailing stop by five pips. Every five pips that the price moves four uh, in your favor, it will move the trailing stop. It will move the trailing stop, and so on. So that's one way. So so that's all you have to do. You can see, I'm basically pointing the robot in the direction of the moon as simple as that don't worry about all those other complicated just neutralize them or switch them off that that's all you need to do to create a hundred percent technique the training stop settings might need a bit refinement from currency to currency now, i'm sorry this video has actually dragged on a little bit longer than i thought but I, this is a very very important video and then as I mentioned, there are a few questions that I've got at the end here. And, um, and the first question is, is this something that you can see yourself do? Is it 
Too simple for you? Too easy for you? Too difficult? What is it? But do you see yourself, and this is important, you have to see yourself trading this method. Is it something that you could do? And then the next question is, why are you watching YouTube videos? Because if you see something like this, and you don't apply it, you don't make it change your life, then you are not here to learn anything. Then you are a trader that is a jack of all trades. He knows a little bit of everything, but not enough of something to succeed. That's where most traders that are watching YouTube videos and going to forums and all that, they are jack of all trades. They know a bit about everything. They will just debate, they can debate anything, but they don't know enough of something, enough of something to succeed. Now, this trader has spent a lot of time analyzing this technique and has had made a, and has perfected the technique for themselves. That is what's needed. You need to know a lot about something, not a bit about everything. Anyway, I hope you've found this video interesting. Links to anything mentioned in this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the first commentary of the video. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.